What do you do if your Greek mate gives you a lemon? Or uh, lemons? Uh, or a thousand lemons? I, I don't know. I really don't know. You make a thousand lemon recipes. And one of them is... Biggerly pasta with lemon, mint and prawns. Let's do it. Okay, so I am using Biggerly pasta. Actually, I've never seen Biggerly pasta. Ah, a lot of people haven't seen Biggerly pasta. What is it? What shape? What size? What well, do you know why they call it Biggerly? Because it's big. See, it's it's like a spaghetti, but it's got like grooves. Ah! Oh. So when you're doing like a light kind of sauce that I'm doing today with lemon, a bit of oil and garlic, and not a lot of heavy sauce, yeah. this will help it stick to the pasta. It'll scoop it all up in those little, little grooves. Groovy. Ah! It worked. Ha! <laughs> in the pot of boiling salty water. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. Do it yourself. We're gonna cook the sauce. So it's all gonna be ready in a matter of what? 10 minutes. Some oil. Remember, this is gonna form part of our sauce. So don't get all blah, 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 blah about how much oil I'm putting in. You need to have a bit because that's gonna be part of our sauce. Fair shake of the sauce bottle, mate. Garlic cloves, two. <laughs> And, and what I'm doing here is I'm doing the old put the garlic in the pan of oil trick and take it out when it's infused. Hey, hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. I'm going to turn that down a bit because we don't want it too hot. We don't want to brown the garlic because what happens if you brown the garlic, it goes bitter. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. If it's not fun, why bother? We are also going to use some flaked almonds and we want those toasted so I might even get those on too. Oh my god we're gonna do two things at once. Oh my god. So I see we're cooking with prawns today. We sure are. What is a surefire way to make sure it's cooked perfectly and okay okay these are actually Queensland tiger prawns and make sure I mean this is they've already been cleaned and they've got their tails on but if you notice a black strip yeah. down the prawn. Yeah. That's the poo tube. Love Get rid of it. Because that's where, if there is any bacteria, that's where it's going to be, yeah? So get rid of the poo tube. How do you know when a prawn is cooked, Ali? Um, I don't really know. No, 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 I'm going to answer your question. What you want them to do is go white. White. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So the way to know if a prawn is cooked is there's no transparent bit. So while that's going, over here, almonds are going in to be toasted. That's kind of what it is when you're cooking sometimes. Bit of pepper on the prawns. <laughs> just a little. You just want them good and white, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> you're impressed with that? Uh, a little bit. I know, right? I've been hooning my skills. <laughs> See how they go white? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you can see they've still got a little bit of transparency here. That means they're not quite ready. Okay. All right? And I just, unlike steak and stuff, I keep turning prawns. Okay, see that? That, my friend, is a beautiful golden brown prawn. Okay. <laughs> That's your pasta. Okay. Right, I'm gonna put a bit of this in. We've got things to add. Okay. So, we're gonna do the zest of one whole lemon. This is to add a bit of sunshine into your life. Then, we've got some juice. You don't need a lot, about a tablespoon. Oh, that just smells incredible. That smells really nice. So yeah, really fresh, something fresh. Mint, yeah. Add to the freshness. Cheese. Always, I was wondering. You can add more. 
water if you need to melt that a bit. Because yeah. you don't want it to be all clumpy like that. So I'm just going to add a little bit more water. I have turned the heat off, by the way. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Because there's enough residual heat in there at the moment. If I need to melt all that cheese in there, finally, we're going to go with some flaked almonds that I've toasted to give it a bit of crunch. And just when you thought it couldn't get any goddamn better, chili. Not all of that, please. Now, how easy is that recipe? Pretty darn easy. Pretty darn easy and good way to use lemons. Oh, no, no. A bit of oil, just to bring it all together. A bit more pepper. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the... Oh, recipe number one of 1,000 lemon recipes. Bon appetito. <laughs> Lovely. Mm. Oh yeah. How good is that? Mm. Press that subscribe button, you know you want to. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Press it, and the little bell so you know when I cook stuff. I love you. <laughs>